the show is happening, there's some ladies in the background. Dancing. Dancing with bikinis. Exactly. And it's a like a cooking show. Dancing. And then the girls are like, yeah. 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 For you to buy a beer, for you to buy a car, for you to buy whatever, there is always a lady. Yes. Half naked yeah. showing you the car. Hi, I'm Claudia and I'm from Peru. Hi, I'm Carla and I'm from Venezuela. My name is Alan, I'm from Brazil. Hi, I'm Marcela and I'm from Mexico. Hi, I'm Sebastian, I'm from Chile. It is, but there's still a lot of tradition. So people are very open sexually, but you are kind of not allowed to talk about it unless it's just with your friends. If you ever speak about that with your family, it's like, you know, you're not supposed to be having sex before you're getting married. Uh, in my country, Venezuela, it is kind of the same. There is a lot of taboo yet, especially if you are a female. A female. Brazil makes you think it's a very open country, but it's actually very conservative. So there's a lot of double standard going on. Same with my fellow friends here. If you are a man, go and fuck around, no problem whatsoever. If you are a woman, if you do, just be careful about it. Yeah, Mexico is the same. You're supposed to be virgin for when you get married. If you're a woman, but if you're a guy, then you can just have as many girls as you want. Uh, for Chile, I think we are kind of open, but we like to think that we are more open than we, we really are. We will talk like, oh, you can say whatever you want, but if someone say, oh, I slept with, I don't know, 50 girls or 50 guys, they will be like, whoa, 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 we are not that open, you know? For guys as well? Yeah. If I tell people that I slept with 50, 50 girls, I mean, they would guys, give me a pat on the back. Guys will yeah. never do that, <laughs> but girls is like, I, I don't want a guy like that. You know? No, no, they'll take that as like, I can change him. Yeah. And I think also like going to sex clinics, for example, back home. Well, there are no sex clinics, first of all. It's just like you just go to a normal hospital. You literally have to be hiding, like, you know, right. nobody is like... Big bad. if you're a man, you're going to see, like, try to get precaution, you know, like using condoms or stuff, then you're responsible. But if you're a woman, it's like, oh, no, she's a slut, you yeah. know, like, yeah. that's, that's why she needs this. That's why she needs, like, the pill, you know, like, that's why. And you know? also, in my country, there is something that there is not here in Canada, and it's motels. So you go there, you pay eight hours just to have sex. You cannot sleep there, of course, only to have sex. And they, they have these rooms that are very, you know, thematic, and they have the Filipino one and African, and you have mirrors everywhere just to have sex. But then again, like as she was saying, like if you go there as a female, you're like, oh my God, my mom can't see me here. And the guys are very proud, you know? For example, just, just as an example, if I have a car, I will never drive myself to a place like that because, you know, they can't see my car. It's just very ridiculous because you're just gonna have sex. It's not like you're, you know, committing a crime. Well, in Chile, you're gonna sleep there. It's really private because when you go by car, you enter, nobody see you, and you go to like a parking with curtains. They kind of close and you would never see anyone. They just make sure you are 18 or more and that's it. Same thing, yeah. You yeah. ask your ID, you show your ID, and then you yeah. get in. There is a garage. You get in, close the curtain or the door, whatever, and then you are inside the room already. You never yeah. go outside. And yeah. they give you like food or whatever you want by like a door that Oh, they yeah, close both sides yeah. and then you can open but nobody is there. Who would you say seems to be the most sexually out there? I think like just out of stereotype, pure stereotype, I would say Brazil. Uh, Brazil. By the stereotype, yes, Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I think Brazil. I think same. Like sometimes when, when we are talking with friends and they want to go to Brazil, most of them is like, oh, we are going to go there to have sex. And sometimes they are like, you should know that they're kind of scared because like everyone have sex with everyone there. You can get like sick or whatever. So it's like really, really a stereotype. Like they just have sex and play soccer. <laughs> That's Amazing. pretty Sorry. much Brazil. Sorry, Brazil. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mexico and Venezuela. Venezuela. No, Venezuela. Yeah, they are, they are pretty right. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine, right. it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> so do you think Chile is more conservative than Peru and all the other countries? Yeah, especially because, I mean, like I told you, we are kind of doing this not so far ago. If you go to my, like, my older sister, she will tell you a whole different story. She cannot have like a boyfriend. We have like a like mountains that separate us from everyone. These days we have a lot of immigrants, but before we didn't have, so we didn't have many influence. No, so he's saying say, that yeah. immigrants went to his country to... To, to, to liberate us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mission accepted. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Actually, I was like, ah, oh, should I be that <laughs> Just because of that, but you know what? What he just said actually makes a lot of sense. Like, I think I cannot speak, speak of obviously from all Peruvians, but I think we, all, we do have the open mindset. It's just that we cannot talk it with adults. But between us, we do speak about sex, like maybe not as super like freely, like 
stereotypical Brazil. I think Mexico, yeah, it's pretty neutral <laughs> right in here. Men can have, like, they could be taken by their parents, like their father, like a strip club, yeah. When they are like in early age, like they're, when they're teenagers. But women, like, we have to keep ourselves until we get married. In Mexico, like, if girls want to go to the pharmacy and get like condoms or something, they are seen really bad. Even by the pharmacist who is a woman, they will like, just like, see you like really bad like you're like a slot or something yeah like Same. i don't think that will happen in chile i think i am very okay with being in the fourth place i feel like venezuela right now um are pretty open about sexual life especially now that we are immigrating to all of the countries we have I've seen as as people that are very open sexually i have uh, been to brazil and i have heard hear their music for example funk Everything is about pirocas and stuff like that. We are not that open. First of all, I'm very surprised <laughs> about this. I really am. So back in Brazil, I never had a chance to interact with any of my colleagues like, from this culture, okay? So when I came here to Canada and I started interacting with all the Latin people, they always seem pretty open. So for me, it's very shocking mm. that there is still, in some place, the mentality, oh yeah, you have to be a virgin to get married. Because that's such an old fashioned mentality. And Brazil is pretty okay. Like you have fun, people talk about sex all the time. Mm. And I think that's good in a way. I was yeah. starting at what, 12 here? 12? 12 years old? 13. So I, I think okay. so, yeah. 13? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 13, 15 then. In my country, no, I'm not saying me, okay? <laughs> 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 my country, 15, okay. Uh, yeah, like 16. So this is difficult though, because like I remember when I was like 12 or 13, like people were already talking that they lost their virginity. Like, wow. and I was actually like, maybe when I was 10, like I remember I didn't give my first kiss and I was like the only one left out. Okay. But I think it depends also like, 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 okay, maybe the age, like women or men, because like boys in Mexico, I think they will like lose it at like 13, 14 and like girls is like so? a little bit older. Because usually in Chile, boys uh, date girls that are younger. So if you are 13, you are dating an 11 year old, it's weird, you know, like maybe yeah. they will say they did, but they won't, you know, mm -hmm. that's kind of what happened. I believe for Chile, it's a little bit late. I mean, for my personal experience, I had too many friends losing, not too many, I mean, three, but it's too many, <laughs> losing their virginity young and also, also getting pregnant. So it yeah, was yeah. scary, like, and I think that's why we had kind of like a good, um, system in place now and I was like I'm not that responsible so I will wait until I am and I figured out that I was uh, around 20 <laughs> so yeah okay. very okay. curious hold hands, oh. hands. we can do this okay <laughs> you, you, oh, we're missing out on the hands. hands all hands okay <laughs> I feel I'm gonna be like on the, on the other side <laughs> <Do it. laughs> insert drum roll <laughs> Mexico! Should we move? Look at that! You're making your grandma proud! Venezuela, Mexico, Canada. 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 Mexico, Seventeen. Point good. four. It makes Point sense. Four. It good. makes sense. Good. Sounds alright. That's serious enough. Yeah. My kids, if, if I were to have kids and they lose a seventeen, we'd be like, oh, that's that's okay. Yeah. Next up is Venezuela. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're good at this. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Well, interesting. And of course, our runner <laughs> is Brazil with oh, not not that. Not that. Yeah, it's really good. Pretty good. How is the sex education in your country? What oh is that? Dear. Exactly. <laughs> I can uh, say my sex education was don't have sex until you get married. That's it. Moving on. Pretty much. How pretty much. <laughs> so <laughs> back in the day there was no internet, right? So you would rent one porn tape and you call everybody to show them what you have. I was a child, so I maybe 10, 9 years old. I was going to the bar to talk to my uncle about whatever and then I passed through this open area. There was one TV, 10 guys around the TV watching action. And I was like, why is he peeing on her? I don't, don't get it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my, god. <laughs> my first encounter to something like that because he wasn't moving was a friend that brings like um, a magazine from like a diario, newspaper. It's called Bomba Cuatro. And he had like a lot of girls without a uh, top. Mm -hmm. And he kind of like give one to each of one of us. And that was it. Now that we're exposing ourselves, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's my turn. 
Okay. One day I was late at night watching TV, and you know when you go through all the channels, you know what I mean? There was the channel 99. That channel didn't have any programmation, but at 2 a.m., 1 a.m., I don't know, there was some kind of action <laughs> happening in there, but you couldn't see it because you didn't pay for the channel. You had to pay, <laughs> but I didn't have a subscription. And I wouldn't ask my mom to buy the channel for me. <laughs> so you could see just random yes. things happening. I remember, you remember, I remember right? that. The I channel 99. That. Then I will see and hear, and what? <laughs> And you could see just part of it. I was like, what is really happening? And I was like 14 already. I was too innocent when I was a child. So my mother and my, and my stepfather, they will have like naps with their door closed Saturday and Sunday. They're always tired. I don't know why. You know? But then they go fall asleep so early. And I just realized that when I was like, uh, I don't know, like 28. Talking to my parents, I was like, I was, oh, if one time I'm married, I will have like a special room for that, you know, so I can, I will not have, because I hear a lot that people kind of stop having sex when they have child because it's really hard. And my mom saying like, no, just say that you are taking a nap and close the door. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you sleep that much, you know. <laughs> Your childhood. I think actually we're pretty exposed since, since we're little kids because we have all these music videos and like reggaeton mm -hmm. and salsa Mecano. and all like Latin music are literally like, you know, like bikini, like very small yeah. bikinis and girls like yeah, twerking, so. not twerking, actually perreando, you know, that's what we do. And uh, so I think we're pretty exposed of like na almost naked bodies since we're very young. So On Sunday afternoon, if you're Brazilian, you know what I'm talking about. Programa do Gugu. So there was this TV show in the afternoon. They put like two extremely hot girls in a bikini fighting in a, a swimming pool of jelly. So that, that was the afternoon show in Brazil in the 90s. So now that you say that, it's, it's true, we're very exposed to stuff like that. Every single child program of a person like trying to, I don't know, get, make games on, the, on TV sets, they always have models, like with very tight clothes mm -hmm. and very small clothes and they all dance. Like dancing is our thing, right? That, that's what we do every single day. But yes, and also not only TV, but the media in general, like our music, for example, like if you, if you listen to her lyrics, don't listen to Portuguese ones, though. But those ones you need to be over 18 to do that. Also, cinema, Peruvian cinema was known for a very long time, early in the years, that every single movie was a porn or end up in like some type of porn situation or like sex situation. How is for you guys about the telenovelas? Because telenovelas, so we have at, at night, after six, we have like three different types of telenovela. Mm -hmm. So usually the telenovela at six o'clock is like something old fashioned, like, you know, and then in, at seven, you would have like more modern and at nine would be modern with a little bit of spice. So you would have like guys picking up a girl, like ripping her shirt off, not showing boobs, but like having that kind of like really sexual innuendo happening during the show. You would see like yeah. forced kiss, you know, like grabbing by the hair, like give me a kiss. And she's like, no, but you like it. <laughs> so we have something similar, but when it's about time to show that type of, of the telenovela, there's a little funky character cartoon that goes on TV saying like, Hey kids, it's time to go to sleep. Oh. Brush your teeth. Oh. You know? oh. it's like they, it was a, di yeah. a dinosaur for us. His name was Timoteo. You know. <laughs> My respects. He would say like, "Go brush your teeth and go to bed." I'm like, "Yes, okay. sir." You know, <laughs> and I'll just sleep. <laughs> In my country, there is. No, Timoteo, of course. Um, <laughs> you can go from watching somebody cooking a recipe and to a big telenovela, as he says, with like everything explicit content. Explicit, explicit. Boobs, no? No, no. <laughs> like boobs <laughs> without the... the bra? The... Nipples? Nipples. Yeah, you can see boobs in, in Venezuela. Not even in telenovelas, everywhere. Yeah. Very true, very true. At any time. The show is happening, there's some ladies in the background. Dancing. Dancing with bikinis. Exactly. And it's a like, cooking show. And the girls are like, yeah. 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 Very like, true. Like that. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> it's very no, true. In my country, like, yes. for you to buy a beer, for you to buy a car, for you to buy whatever, there is always a lady, yes. half naked, yeah. showing you the car. The beer, the whiskey, whatever you're going to buy, there is always always a lady. The 90s was a wild place. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, what was that? But <laughs> no, 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 be fine, mostly, kind of, sort of. Thank you guys so much. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed our newest Latin video. By the way, Brazil is a part of Latin America, but they don't speak Spanish. They speak, do you guys know?
By the way, if you like this shirt and want one just like it, or you want one for your Brazilian boyfriend, girlfriend, friends, whatever, then go to the link below to check out the merch. We have different pieces of cultural merchandise, just like this one. And you can use the code Beyond Borders to get 20% off today. And by the way, we do have smaller sizes than this one. I just didn't order one for myself. This was originally ordered for a big, strong friend of mine. So, but anyways, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like, give it a share, and let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Your comments mean the world, literally, because they increase engagement and also, I genuinely would like to know what you guys think. And subscribe to the channel for more on dating around the world. We publish every Thursday, so don't miss out. A lot of you guys are not subscribed. That's kind of sucky. It literally takes one click, and then my channel looks so much better. And I'll see you guys next week. As usual, continue quebrando as barreiras. I really can't. Like, it's really bad.